one of the biggest frustrations that I hear from students is, why doesn't my harmonica sound like the pros? Usually these are people who can play clean notes on the harmonica, they can play in time, and it just doesn't really sound bluesy. You're not alone and you have nothing to worry about. I'm gonna show you five ways to take your licks from to The first thing we're going to do is use our hands. No harmonica player, unless you use a rack, plays it like this. The harmonica just doesn't have much of its own acoustical chamber, so we use our hands to create a good acoustic chamber around the instrument. You get a much warmer, meatier tone. You can use that to uh, get that nice wah sound. So the key is being relaxed, getting your hands into a cup around the instrument, join your wrists together underneath, wrap it round like that. Always shape your tone with your hands. Don't just play it open. Otherwise it's gonna sound thin. The next thing that uh, is you know, a proper harmonicaism is the bends. Quite often students will learn how to play clean notes, then they'll learn how to play bends, then they'll forget that bends are there unless there's a specific lick that they've learnt with bends in it. The bends are the really good stuff for blues harmonica. With that in mind, let's just add a half step bend to that three draw in the lick. Just makes it sound so much bluesier than So don't forget to put the bends in there. You can do that on any of the, the notes in a lick that you're playing with just clean notes. Holes two, three, four, they've all got some tasty bends. The one draw also has a tasty bend. Imagine if our lick was just a two draw. Remember we could play already a lot bluesier. The next one you're gonna really hate me for, don't play so Clean. What? All will be made clear, but let's listen to what I mean. We spend so much time learning how to play clean notes on the instrument and going from to that we're scared to go back to the messy notes. The idea is that now that you know the rules, you know how to play the clean notes, you can break those rules, but you've got to break it judiciously. We're gonna start by doing something called a double stop. So a double stop is where you allow a little bit of an adjacent hole to bleed into the note that you're playing. In that original lick that we eventually started playing the three draw half step bend in, we're going to turn that into a double stop. Let a little bit of the four draw bleed into that just by widening your mouth ever so slightly to the right. And you can experiment with making any of your notes into double stops and see what you like. They don't all sound good, but a lot of them sound great. One of my favorites is the four draw with a little bit of the five into it. Don't be afraid to get a little bit messy as long as you're doing it intentionally. The next thing to think about is dynamics. Dynamics are simply playing with your volume and your attack. There's a tendency when we play to just play everything in a straight line like even though we have a huge range of volume. That sounded a lot more musical. So think about trying to swell notes up to their full volume and also trying to bring them back down. And then when you're getting really pro with it, you can start thinking about mixing up your volumes of your notes, hitting certain notes for emphasis. So you could have a little bit of...
Think about using the volume up and down. Get a nice big swell on that four drawer about at the beginning of that lick to practice. So our next super bluesy thing to add into this is an inflection, which will sound a little bit like this. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm playing an inflection. So that means that I'm starting from an ever so slight bend and immediately releasing it up to the note that I'm trying to play. In this case, that's that four drawer at the beginning of the phrase. So we're inflecting into it and then we're swelling the volume on it. And you can play inflections on any draw note that you have and it'll sound great. Instead of think about bending into the note you're trying to play. Just makes it so much more vocal and more interesting to listen to. And then finally, let's add in a little bit of vibrato. So vibrato is quite an advanced technique, but it's definitely one to add into your repertoire. And all I'm doing is I'm just ending that phrase with the two draw with a little bit of a little bit of vibrato there using my throat. And you can do that on any draw note and it'll sound fantastic. makes it a little bit more emotive. I guess the main thing is, even if you can do all these techniques, often you're not gonna remember to do them. So practice playing through your favorite licks, thinking about how you can add one of these techniques at a time until it becomes second nature and you're doing it naturally and you're starting to get that bluesy feel and sound. And really don't be afraid of what the harmonica does. You know, the harmonica, it can play clean notes, but that's kind of boring. Think about all of the cool bluesisms, and there are tons more. This is just a little bit to get you started. And now, don't forget to like and subscribe. The next thing you should check out is my seven blues harmonica licks uh, for you to learn and practice these techniques with. So just click up here for that.